502 and the search for an arsonist in Fort Pierce entering its third day. So far, deputies say they've only received eight tips after putting images captured by mosque surveillance cameras out to the public. WPTV News Channel 5's Andrew Ruiz is live with the message the sheriff's office has for people out there. Andrew. Ashley, put simply, a crime is a crime, and the sheriff's office says that no matter what opinion you have about this mosque or the people that attended services, they're asking that you help find who torched it. Right now, there is a $10,000 reward for tips that lead to an arrest. Deputies say Sunday night, minutes before midnight, a man was spotted pouring an accelerant onto the door of the Islamic Center of Fort Pierce. Seconds later, a man lights it on fire and is seen getting away on a motorcycle. Cycle. Tuesday, the sheriff's office says they wrapped up their on scene investigation, but we're asking that with so few tips that people call in with what they know. An arsonist lighting this um, mosque on fire is not good for anyone. It is not good for the community. It is not good for America. And the individuals responsible for this need to be brought to justice. Today, members of the mosque will be allowed back into the building. They say if they can, they will rebuild. In the next half hour, we'll talk about the support the community is showing to help make that a reality. In Fort Pierce, Andrew Ruiz, WPTV News Channel 5.